So we have a viewer who wants to build business credit ASAP. So how to do it? And he said, I have a, a, a new S corporation. I filed the paperwork and all. I need a big business loan soon. And my FACO score is 735. So we are going to talk about building business credit. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we have a case that was actually brought over to us recently by Travis. And basically, he said, I want to build business credit ASAP. How to do it, step by step. I have a new S corporation, and I have filed the paperwork and all and I need a big business loan very soon. My FACO score is 735. So what is really going on here? Dear beloved viewers, we just want to summarize the case for you. So we have Travis. He is a 47 years old, he is a male, and he lives in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And uh, his escort, he filed an, an escort that's, that's ready. And one thing I wanna say here is that, Travis, you don't you haven't filed an S corporation. An S corporation is a tax construct. It's basically a tax concept. You probably have an LLC or you have a C corp, not an S corp, but that's just beside the point. So going on with uh, the synopsis here, you have two interested clients already. So you have two clients, even though your business is new, you have clients, you have two clients that are waiting to, to kind of like uh, bring your business. This is really good. And uh, you have a new landscaping company. This is important. So your company is a new landscaping uh, company. You are married with three kids and you are currently an irrigation assistant and you earn about $56,000 a year. So here is the synopsis. I'm just giving this synopsis for our beloved viewers to have a clear idea of what we'll be talking about. So Travis, 47 years, 47 years old, lives in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and he has a, a corporation that's just new and he's trying to build business credit. And he has two interested clients already. This is really good. And uh, he is uh, currently an irrigation assistant. This is really good also. So, Travis, we are going to give you all the, uh, all. The, we are going to spill all the beans that you need to have the right strategies to build business credit very, uh, very easily. Beloved viewers, please feel free to pitch in. Feel free to contribute. We believe in collective wisdom. We have done our research. We can provide some of the some of the, the guidance that we we can based on our experience in this industry for the last 30 years. But it's also very important to rely on our beloved viewers, feedbacks and uh, expertise. First things first, Travis, let me just clarify for you. You are a new business, so I really want to clarify for you. Why, what is business credit and why is it important? See, business credit is a major financial tool for your business. It's used to help you qualify for loans and other forms of financing. It's also an essential tool for building relationships with vendors and other business to business sellers, B2B sellers. So business credit can function as a useful bargaining tool when it comes to negotiation, okay? And the thing is that if you have to enter into price or credit transactions, it's important to have the right business credit score so you can you can actually get better deals. Very important. So here are five benefits. I'm actually uh, reminding you, Travis, but everybody else out there, why business credit is really important and why you should seek to build business credit as soon as you have filed the paperwork for your new business, okay? So here are five benefits of having good business credit. Financing is cheaper right i mean for your uh, new landscaping company as soon as you have built business credit you will realize that financing will become cheaper vendors may not require prepayment this is really good because you really want to save you want to save on cash flows very important 
okay suppliers and lenders may agree to uh, better terms because they know that you have a good credit a good business credit score and when we talk about business credit score we're not just speaking about the um, the DMB payday score you also have Equifax business score you also have the Experian business score they are important and having good business credit actually allows you to separate to segregate your personal finances from your business's finances very important okay this is important and your business will be financially stable so you have a lot of pluses and uh, no minus when it comes to establishing business credit one thing out the reason why I'm just reminding you of this is because Travis in the conversations we have with you in the emails we exchange with you you asked us something very importantly something very important you said is it important at all to establish business credit do I really need it and our answers to you is yes you need to establish business credit and you should do everything you should commit yourself to having great business credit score very important I want you to be careful Travis I want you to be careful keep in mind and I just said this earlier keep in mind that S corporation is purely a federal tax construct something you agree on with the IRS okay there is no entity type at the state level called S corporation you have LLC partnership corporation and whatnot but you don't have S corporation you elect S corporation status with the IRS some states might grant you the same tax benefits but essentially it is a federal tax thing okay so basically make sure that you comply with, with the requirements of whatever legal structure you have at the state level very important okay now well, one thing i want to say here is that uh, if you indeed have an s corp or you have an llc but you want to have an s corp you need to understand the s corp requirements okay now an s corp is a type of corporation that elects to pass corporate income loss deductions and credit to its shareholders so basically right now once your business starts making money you are not going to pay taxes at the uh, company level no you are going to you can you can actually pay yourself you can actually set yourself up on a salary basis you can get a salary every uh every uh two weeks or every month but you don't have to you don't have to pay taxes at the business level okay and uh, there are some uh, requirements for sending up and filing as an s corporation but the purview of this conversation does not allow us to go in detail but one thing i want to i want to say very clearly is that be careful of the legal structure that you choose okay it's very important to be clear about things like so if you want to go with s corporation remember there are some bureaucratic requirements the irs will actually audit this business like crazy so make sure that you have the all the information travis if you made a mistake if you meant c corporation instead of s corporation please Tell us in the comment section or email us back so we have a clear understanding that we're not talking about S Corporation here. We're talking about C Corporation and that we can actually adjust our advice to you. A C Corporation is 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 not a federal tax contract construct there are c corporation regulations you can actually file paperwork with the state it's fine but uh, yeah one thing i want to see here also before closing on this uh, on this part is that please remember you can elect s corporation status by filing something called form 2553 with the irs so this is what it is but if you need help it's always important to actually enlist the help of a, of a professional this could be a cpa this could be uh, an e an enrolled agent or this could this could also be um, a tax attorney now let's get back to the the question that you, you really ask solution idea number one if you want to build business credit as soon as possible first things first you need to establish your business okay this is important so you want to have a landscaping company okay do you have an EIN already an employer identification number you need that you need to think about a business phone number have you thought about your business name you said you file everything but what about making sure that you have a registered agent service have you actually uh, have you thought about that what about uh, making sure that you have a certificate of good standing 
What about that? Have you thought about that? What about making sure you have a business bank account? Travis, I'm talking to you here about the fundamentals that you need to uh, take care of before you can even think about building business credit. Why? Because the the net 30 accounts, the business uh, partners that you will want to have credit business credit transactions with, they will want they will want to deal with you at the business level, and make sure that you don't have uh, you don't have because see. If you uh, you didn't say how many folks are in the are in the company, if you you are by yourself, and you happen to to have an LLC, you will be a single member LLC, and there are differences here. Okay, so think about business your business address. If you are working from home, make sure that you separate. You can actually get a virtual office, a virtual mailbox, so that you can actually, for privacy reason, you can actually have your mail delivered at that at that virtual uh, mailbox. Okay. Register your business with your Secretary of State, okay? Your EIN, get your EIN. So everything you need to do to make sure that you are existing as a business, okay? And one thing you also need to do here is that you want to think about, when we talk about uh, having, a, a no business, having a no business bank account, make sure that the address you give the bank when it comes to your, your the information you put on the, on, the, uh, on the form, on the bank form is, that information must match the virtual mailbox that you have actually uh, you have actually signed up for. Do not use your home. Do not use it. Okay. I mean, unless you're comfortable with it. But, but uh, in our experience, it's just a lot better to use a different address. Okay. So first things first. Solution idea number one. Establish your business and make sure it is a legit business. Solution idea number two. I just uh, previously talked about it, but now I want to dig a little deeper. You want to open a business bank account. Now, when we talk about opening a business bank account, we are speaking about multiple things. This could be a checking account. This could be a savings account, a business checking account, a business savings account. And the, the thing you want to do here is that you want to actually use the same bank where you currently bank at. So Travis, where are you at right now in terms of banking? So whatever bank or credit union you currently use for your personal accounts, use them also for business bank accounts if they offer business services. That way you don't have to start over, you don't, you don't have to start anew. You can edu- you can just uh, parlay your existing, your existing relationship at the personal level into a business relationship. This is really great. You, you save a lot of time, energy, and you don't waste, you don't have to provide paperwork anymore. You can provide some minimal paperwork, but not a lot, okay? So when we talk about opening a business bank account this is not just about uh, you know opening a business bank account is just a start this is actually having a foot in the door because you gotta be you gotta be in the room to enjoy how business credit can bring a lot of business to you right so you because once you have a uh, once you open a business bank account you can start the process that will lead you to a better business bank relationship, business banking relationship. And you need to build that relationship with a banking partner because this could be beneficial down the road. If you need a loan, for instance, or you need insurance, if your bank provides insurance, again, the same advice that I'm giving you can also apply for a credit union. Okay, this is important. No, so what you want to do is as you open a business bank account, please try to beef up your personal NPR. You want to beef up your personal multi-product relationship. So if you have a strong multi-product relationship at the personal level and you open just a business checking account, this will help you actually get business uh, credit real fast from that from that bank. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to inquire about business credit cards at your bank or credit union. You want to do the same thing on business loans, especially collateralized financing. So the whole thing is you are on an information gathering trip you are trying to collect intel you want to know what's happening what's possible with the bank or credit union you are currently at okay this is important that's why you never never ever wants to start at a bank or credit union where you just knew you want to start where they already know your ass very important i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere
Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are actually having a conversation about uh, Travis, and Travis wants to build business credit as soon as possible. Travis is 47 years old, and he is 47 years old. He lives in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and uh, he actually he has a new landscaping company. He's married with three kids, and he's he's currently an irrigation assistant. And he wants to create. He already created, by the way, uh, a new landscaping company. So. Solution idea number three, Travis, you want to continue building relationships with vendors. So the thing here is that you are currently an irrigation assistant, and I'm sure that in your industry, you probably have a lot of clients. Why don't you just start with them? You know, why don't you just, uh, hopefully you have a great relationship with the, with the, whomever you, you are currently dealing with as an irrigation assistant. So why don't you just parlay that great relationship at the, uh, at the personal level into a business relationship? Why don't you ask directly those clients to give you a chance? You know, talk to them about your business, uh, your new business. Tell them that you are looking for, you are looking for business and you would love to help them out. And the whole thing here is that you can even start, you can even start with uh, small amounts. Okay. In some cases, to get uh, the thing is that you want to make sure that there th those vendors trust you, and if they have dealt with you in the past, they will trust you. They will definitely trust you. Okay. So the whole thing is you build credit by paying on time or early with vendors that report to credit agencies. Okay. Now, not all vendors do, and not all vendors will actually report to the same credit agencies. So you need to consider what your business needs. Your uh, new landscaping company you want to look up which vendors in that vertical report to credit agencies we have actually covered this on, on other shows but uh, some of the vendors that you might want to uh, pay attention to are granger for example travis are you listening okay you have you have a uline you have walmart you have wise business plans okay so those are really important and one thing you also want to do here is that you want to apply for small business lines of credit from online lenders that report. Okay, so what's the what's the game plan here? The game plan is uh, to build a relationship with vendors and also look for a small business line of credit from online lenders that report. Very critical. Solution idea number four, Travis, you want to get a business credit card and use it. And the, the thing here is that if you actually uh, have uh, the right relationship with your current bank or credit union, getting a business credit card from them should be easy for several reasons. Number one, you have, you have been with them for a while. You probably have, who knows, you have uh, a personal credit card from them. And hopefully you're, uh, you have used the card correctly, that card correctly, so they will be, they will not be hesitant to give you a business credit card, okay? And now using and paying off balances on your business credit card is a great way to build business credit quickly, okay? So once your bank account is established and your business is in operation, you want to open a business credit card and use it every month. And the thing is, you want to go to a branch. Do not do this on the on the phone. You want to go to a branch and provide context for your application. So you talk to someone, you sit down, you have conversation with people so you know exactly what's really going on. So once you actually get the business credit card, and if you're lucky, you might get the card on an unsecured basis. So you don't have to put any deposit to get a, to get a business credit card. They'll just give you, I mean, now they might give you a smaller amount, a smaller limit, but hey, listen, you take what you can and start somewhere, okay? And don't forget to pay early and often. Whatever you charge on the card, make sure that you pay it off before the due date. Or you can even automate the due date so that you are pretty sure that your payments are taken into account ahead of time. This is really important, okay? And also, you wanna focus on credit utilization. So with the credit card that you have, if you have a business credit card, your CUR plays an important role your credit utilization ratio. Now you can expect with a good, uh, you know, we have no idea where you currently bank, whether this is a, a national uh, bank or a regional behemoth or a local player. We really have, we have no idea because the limits that you might have depend on the size of the institution, okay, and the type of the institution. Obviously, if you had a, if you have a credit union versus a traditional bank, things will be really different. So. The 
Travis, this is really what I want you to do, okay? So solution idea number one, you want to establish a legit business. Solution idea number two, you want to open a business bank account. Solution idea number three, you want to seek net 30 vendors. And solution idea number four, you want to get a business loan or a business credit card and just use it. Very important. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I want to thank our beloved viewers. Travis, I want to thank you also for, be, for being here with us. And uh, hopefully our viewers will continue the conversation and help you out, giving you advice, giving you tips and hacks and, and whatnot to help you establish your business credit really fast. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.